Hey, good afternoon, and thank you for joining Uncle Mike for this edition of Dow Directions, a technical analysis of the Dow. Well, you can see that uh, we at least consolidated a little bit today. wasn't a great day, but <laughs> also wasn't like usual, I guess. The moving averages you can see here are 45 degree angle, not a good sign. We need to do some consolidation, get above the moving averages, and get above our T8 at 68.61. And that would be the uh, first level that we need to uh, really take a look at to get uh, get above those levels. Uh, what I had to redo the charts this weekend. I don't have the 50 and the 20 period moving average. They'll be on tomorrow. What I did put on though is the Bollinger Bands, which we'll talk about in a minute. You can see that uh, from quite a while ago we've been working. Uh, we were inside the Bollinger Bands, but you can see these times when we were outside the lower Bollinger Band usually you get a retracement to the mid line and we really haven't for months since well I can go back further but since August and it's really been since June of last year that we were above we crossed the mid band and we haven't even touched the mid band all the way down since June so that's not a uh, not really a terrific sign uh, something's got to give at some point and whether it's just a mid bounce type of a rally but one would expect we should get up into this level and here's a trend line hopefully this is broken and we can get above and there's the 200 day moving average now let's check some of our favorites that we go through let's check the uh, let's go with the trend analysis if we look at the Arun indicator, <clears throat> the last signal that was given was a sell, and that was 78 periods ago. The directional indicator was a sell 143 periods ago. MACD generated a sell 17 periods ago. And the stop and reverse, the SAR, gave a sell 25 periods ago. So you can see, no buys. We are very bearish at this point. We're currently below the 200, 90, and 30, and 20 and eight period moving averages. Let's look at the Tron Day chart checkup. <clears throat> the overall price bias is downwards, of course. You haven't heard me say anything different than that, unfortunately. The upper bound is going to be tomorrow 69.82. The lower bound is 6,035. Let's check our Rex Tagasuji profile. Dow closed down about 80 points today. Volume was only about 2% above average, and the Bollinger Bands were 48% wider than normal. You can see that they were coming down, and you can see recently here, I mean, they were very wide. You've been hearing me say this for quite a while now, of how wide the Bollinger Bands are, and on a daily they should really uh, narrow in a bit here, but that's because of the volatility and the price, uh, big price drops, I should say. The technical outlook in the short term is oversold. Uh, intermediate and long term are bearish. The Dow Jones currently is 33% below its 200 period moving average right there. And in a downward trend, volatility is relatively normal compared to the average volatility over the last 10 periods. The trend forecasting oscillators are currently bearish and have had this outlook for the last 36 periods. The momentum oscillators, though, are currently indicating that it's in an oversold condition. But remember, folks, we can stay in that over oversold condition for a while. And the security price, which is the Dow, has set a new 14 period low, while the momentum oscillator has not. So we're in a bullish divergence type pattern based on momentum oscillators. Well, that's it uh, for our quick look at the uh, Dow for this evening. Hopefully, this is a good sign we can see a little more of this and head higher uh, but don't expect any miracles so thanks for joining Uncle Mike this evening and I will see you tomorrow night have a great night